I'm Carter Osterhaus, and this is a Million Dollar Room. We're getting an exclusive look inside the most spectacular million dollar rooms around the globe. If you think you've seen it all, this cool master suite has an outrageous feature you won't see anywhere else. This is something I've never seen before, and I've seen a lot of stuff. Our journey in search of the most amazing million dollar rooms takes us next to the desert resort of Rancho Mirage, California where one owner spared no expense in creating the modern mansion of his dreams. Hey, how are, how you? are you? Being both the owner and designer of this lavish home, Brian Foster certainly had the resources to build the most unique house possible, so he used the most expensive materials he could find. This 6,000 square foot desert masterpiece features four bedrooms, three bathrooms, and a patio that takes outdoor entertaining to new heights. So what are we about to see? You're gonna see probably one of the most modern rooms you've ever seen. Great, let's go check it out. Let's go. Wow. This is a modern room if I've ever seen one. The 1,000 square foot bedroom is the ultimate in modern design. And Brian pushed the envelope at every turn. From the geometric walls and ceilings, intense angles of each piece of furniture, and the plush amenities, this master suite is more like the presidential suite. This is amazing. Look at all of these different elements you brought into this room. I mean, just looking at the metal, the stone, the wood. I mean, there's a lot going on in here. Again, just didn't want it to be really boring, so mm -hmm. we incorporated these things throughout the house, and that added a little bit of fun. I mean, yeah. it has somewhat of an industrial, but mm -hmm. residential, really comfortable, casual living. What was the biggest thing that you wanted out of this room? I wanted to really, really bring the outdoor in to give that indoor-outdoor feel. How'd you do that? Well, if you look around a little bit further, yeah. you're gonna notice that this room is almost all glass. Really? Yes, and we have these um, blinds, these motorized blinds that open like a pocket sliding door, okay. and it'll expose this glass. Well, let's open those up. Do so you wanna give it a shot? Sure. Okay, here we go. With the touch of a button, the bedroom is now set in the perfect desert landscape. If you had to calculate what was spent mm -hmm. just right here for the glass and the footings, you're talking at least $100,000. Right. Easily. Wow. So you can either put a, a Monet, a Rembrandt, or something like that and spend a lot of money, or right. you can put or, the foundation yeah. <laughs> in and right. put some glass and have natural beauty. Brian definitely didn't do anything halfway, and he carefully handpicked every over-the-top piece for the room, including his one-of-a-kind bed. Well, I think you've definitely created something that I have never seen before, which is this bed, which is so amazing because it looks as if it's just floating. Is Houdini under there? What's going on? How did you get this to be suspended off the ground like well, this? Well, it's a bit of a secret, yeah. but as you could probably figure out, uh -huh. right? There's a lot of interesting structural components to give this bed the effect of being completely floating. If you look at this really, really close, yeah. this bed is not a normal king size bed. It's bigger. It's a lot bigger. This oh, is wow. two feet wider uh -huh. than a regular king size bed and a foot longer. I mean, I'm a pretty tall guy, so yeah, this, this would work for me. Where do you get where do you get this? The big and tall bed store? Right no, there? this all had to be <laughs> yeah, this wondering. had to be custom made and okay. this mattress is a ten thousand dollar mattress. Oh, okay, I'll get off of it. Shouldn't even put my shoes on there. Jeez, come on, Carter. And when you have a million dollar bedroom, you shouldn't have to walk very far to have a soak in the tub. So Brian put his poured in concrete one right next to his bed. Well, something that I've never seen before is a bathtub with water surrounding it. This is really unique, not only the style and the look and the structure of it, but also the fact that there's water around it. This is probably something that uh, you would ordinarily not see in a master bedroom. Right. But the water feature, again, was to bring in that tranquil feel. It kind of almost has a spa feel. Mm -hmm. And the water feature goes through to the outside to an infinity edge where the water spills over. Oh, wow. And so you still have this connection between the water indoor and the water out yes, outdoor. Yes. We wanted to keep that feel to mm -hmm. where you're right here at the edge. As you can right. see, you're right at the edge of the um, hillside. That's and bring that mountain in as a backdrop. Sure, I love it. 
Brian really wanted his master suite to be different than anything out there, and his ultra-modern custom vanity certainly accomplishes that. I love this whole setup here. I love the vanity. I love the top uh, uh, with the, the tiles inside, the ambient lighting. Again, something I've never seen before, and I've seen a lot of stuff. Didn't want to have something that was conventional, like a granite or marble top that you ordinarily see with a simple sink. Right. I wanted to make it a little bit more interesting and fun, right. uh, keeping one clean surface all mm -hmm. the way across, mm -hmm. and did the top in glass, mm -hmm. or, so you have the transparency to see these wood pieces mm -hmm. and the mirror and the lighting come up so it has a fragmented look. Right. So at night, these, uh, the light glows through each one of these right. joints. In keeping with the futuristic feel, Brian decided to build two seamless open air showers right in the center of the room. And right over here, which is amazing, are the showers. These are insane. Is this a structural piece to this entire room? It is. This okay. is um, structural again for the uh, span of the glass. I mean, this blows my mind to see something like this that is a structural, integral piece to this entire room, but you have it at an angle, so not only does it work to hold up the ceiling and the walls, but it's also functional. Yes, and that's what we wanted to accomplish was to not have the structural posts Do, you know, dominant be part of the room and right. like, why is that there? So instead we wanted to create this whole shower area and just make okay. it a really nice experience. Was this pricey to have, you know, the shower set up? It's an easy $100,000. Brian's finishing million dollar touch on his incredible master suite takes it from amazing to total jaw dropping awe. With just one push, the room becomes one with its breathtaking desert surroundings. Are these, what, pocket doors that are right here? These are pocket doors and they will slide and open and, and completely collapse behind the wall so you don't see them. I love that, can we open that up? Sure, let's, let's do it. Woo, this is so easy to push. I mean, like a, a little child could do this. And the, the cool thing about it is that it is a pocket door, so it tucks right back in there. It just makes this such an indoor, outdoor master suite. Oh, it really does. And if you look at it from the perspective of square footage, yeah. we've just added several thousand extra square completely, feet, right? Completely. Plus, we can take a dip in the pool. Listen, thanks a lot. No We're going to hang out here for a little while.